What's going on everyone? This is called The Solution. It's in The Solution to Fitness and today I'm going to give you the 5 best casein protein powders and also answer exactly what is casein protein. And hopefully this will answer any questions you've ever had about casein protein. Now you may be asking, Solution, where's your shirt? Well, I'm actually going to take a shower after I'm done shooting here. Now I've said this in numerous videos, but casein is actually a slow digesting protein. And what does slow digesting mean? What, did, what, is, what does that mean? Well, that basically means when casein is entered and goes into the stomach, it forms like, it forms this gel-like substance in order to slow down the gastric emptying. And this means the amino acids in casein protein have a lot more time to be absorbed into the bloodstream. They move in hella slow, like... So how's that beneficial? What, what does that mean for me? Slow down. Well, this segues into what is the difference between whey protein and casein protein? What's the difference? Which one should I take? Which one is better? Because something always has to be better. Well, they do have a lot of similarities. Uh, one being that they both have a great amount, an excellent amount of the essential amino acids. And, you know, they both have the same amount of protein per scoop, usually around 20 to 25 grams that is usually the amount per scoop the only major difference is the amount of time it takes to be absorbed into the body and that's why whey is usually taken right after a workout because that's when your body is beaten down your muscles are beaten they're worn out and whey gets absorbed a lot faster whereas casein protein powders are best used at night right before bed this is because casein usually takes up to seven hours for all the aminos to finally be absorbed into the body and also is this makes sure that throughout the night you're getting a good measure of nitrogen and you want to make sure that your body does have a good amount of nitrogen major sources of nitrogen can be found in foods such as meats eggs uh, grains uh, above all other things all of above other things. I wonder if I should start doing bloopers again because it's a lot more easier just to keep the screw ups right here. We actually lose that nitrogen source when we go to the bathroom, when we do number one, when we do number two. Number two, what are you, four years old? Even when we sweat, we're losing nitrogen. So to avoid that and to avoid the breaking down of the muscle when we go to sleep, we have casein protein uh, usually around 30 to 45 minutes before going to sleep. All in all, casein protein will definitely help you with that extra muscle development and as well as shorten your recovery time, giving you that extra push in the gym. <clears throat> but what's a good brand to buy? I don't know. Well, that is why I decided to make a list of the, what I personally believe to be the best casein protein powders on the market that I've actually tried. And what I also believe you should try as well. And you already know, please squat that like button if you learned something new. You should already have hit that like button just for the first part of this video alone. But if you already knew what casein was, then I guess the first part was a waste of time. And um, maybe you'll find this part of the video much more helpful. The five, five, five best casein protein powders. Starting with number five. Platinum 100% casein by Muscle Tech. This is actually the second to last casein protein powder that I purchased for the sake of this video that I used for several months. And I think it deserves the fifth place spot for several reasons. Platinum 100% casein by Muscle Tech has one gram of fat, this is all per scoop, mind you, one gram of fat, two grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein, which is very good. It also has 5.2 grams of BCAAs and 4.9 grams of glutamine. A drawback, however, is the amount of sodium that it has, which is different for each flavor that you get, but the lowest amount is 150 milligrams per scoop, and the highest is around 200 milligrams per scoop. Now, this isn't the highest of the casein protein powders out there, but it's definitely not the lowest. When dieting, I'd often find myself waking up in the middle of the night or early morning with a really dry mouth when using two scoops. The texture of this protein is a little gritty or chalky, given the amount you're supposed to use it with, which is eight to 12 ounces. And if you let it sit for too long, you know, to like drink it later, you know, making it early and drinking it later, the bottom would become like, it's like pudding like, and I really hated that. I'd have to shake the container before drinking it. And that's how it's supposed to be inside my body. The price for it is pretty good. It usually ranges between $23 and $30 for a 1.83 pound container. And the 3.75 pound container usually ranging between $47 and $60. And although the flavors weren't much of a variety, 
The ones I did try were pretty good, so that's why I think this protein powder gets the fifth place spot on my list. Number four, Casein Peak by Inner Armor. With Inner Armor Casein, you're getting 24 grams of protein, 4.5 grams of carbs, which is eh, not too bad, 2 grams of fat, 9 grams of glutamine, and 80 milligrams of sodium, which is a lot better. But two things I don't like about this one. One is my personal thing. I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but one thing is the amount of water you're supposed to mix it with, which is 5 to 6 ounces. And I'm not really a fan of casein protein powders that have such a little amount to mix with. And I guess you could use two scoops and double that, but my personal preference, I don't really like using two scoops all the time. I believe most, if not all, casein protein powders should be 8 ounces or more. And like 15 minutes after drinking it, I'll be hungry again. So. Like I said, I don't really like using two scoops. I don't like going through the containers too fast. I like doing two scoops once in a while when I feel like I didn't hit my protein goal in the day. And two, why did the vanilla flavor taste so bad? So, so bad. I hate chocolate, so I couldn't go to that to try that. And there's not really a variety of different flavors, so I had no choice. There's also creatine in it, which some people may not like, but I didn't. I personally didn't have a problem with that. A two pound container usually ranges from $25 to $30, but as I was writing the script for this video, I started finding out that this product on a lot of sites started becoming listed as discontinued. Uh, I don't know why, but some sites do still have it, like EliteNutrition.com, they still have it, so if you can find it, just give it a shot. Number three, 100% casein protein by Ultimate uh, what's their name? My Ultimate Nutrition Pro Star. Pro Star's 100% casein protein. I did the three again. Pro Star's 100% casein protein powder contains in two scoops, and keep that in mind, two scoops, 24 grams of protein, uh, three grams of carbs, one gram of fat, and only 50 milligrams of sodium. When I first received this product and read that two scoops contain these facts, I was thinking, the first thing I thought was, oh man, here we go, gonna finish this container in like two weeks. But actually, no, the scoops are actually really small, so it did last me for a pretty long time. However, even with two scoops, you are still not to do more than eight ounces, which right at, with eight ounces is right at the line, of which I think is acceptable, but I thought for two scoops it could be a little more, but surprisingly, I didn't really get hungry right after drinking it. The two pound container usually ranges from $26 to $35, and the five pound container usually ranges from $43 to $60, and the taste is okay. Before I say my number two, I want to say when I started writing this script, the original number two on this list was 100% casein by bodybuilding.com. But for some reason, bodybuilding.com did a sleazy move and took the two pound containers off their site and they only sell the five pound containers. And bodybuilding.com is pretty much the only site that sells this besides sites like Amazon. And I didn't really like that. I used to use that product. I used that product for probably like two years, maybe a little more. And they took it off the list, which I was really disappointed in. They did, they did, they did. They really disappointed me with that move. But my new number two, what actually deserves the number two spot on this list, was is 100% Combat Casein by Muscle Farm. Why is 100% in almost all these titles? You guys that make these casein powders, you need to get a little more creative. This was so close to having the number one spot, but in one scoop, you're getting 28 grams of protein. 3 grams of carbs, 0 grams of fat, and 55 milligrams of sodium. When I say 3 grams of carbs, I meant 2 grams of carbs. I looked at it again. And 100% combat casein is gluten free with 1 gram of sugar. I mean, the only bad thing I can think about when talking about this, and I really have to be reaching here, is that it doesn't have any BCAAs in it like a lot of the other products do. But that's it. I also really wouldn't recommend using a shaker cup for this because using a shaker cup, it can get foamy and a little clump, what's that, what's that word, clumpy? Clumps? So I really recommend just blending it. The taste is all right, but I'm not expecting much. I'm not complaining with protein powders that have really low sodium and almost no sugar. And, and if that wasn't enough, there are a ton of different flavors. They're getting the best advertisement right now. One of the best things about this product though is that you can really, you can go anywhere and get this product. You can go to places like GNC, Vitamin Shop, you can even go to some Walmart. But, but, when it comes to online sites trying to purchase this online, 
it can be a little annoying because anytime that I try to Google the casein protein for this uh, by Muscle Farm, the whole 100% combat casein, obviously I'm, I'm talking about that. Usually the first thing that comes up is the four pound container, either that or the whey protein. But yeah, that kind of gets a little annoying. You mix one scoop with eight to 12 ounces of water. And like I just said, that is, an, that is the recommended amount. That should be the right amount for any casein protein powder. But not gonna lie, this product is a little bit more pricier than the other products on this list. But when it comes to nutrition facts, this product is equal to my number one spot. I'd honestly prefer either one. But my number one best, my personal best casein protein powder. Drum roll please. All right. 100% casein by Body Strong. Really, really awesome product. A product that I feel I can always go back to. In a scoop, you're getting 25 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, 0.5 grams of fat and only 65 milligrams of sodium and it's usually pretty cheap too a uh, two pound container is usually around 25 bucks sometimes even lower than that and the five pound container usually is around 49 to 60 dollars they even have an unflavored version that i always try to purchase for the long the amount of time i've been using this product i've always tried to get the unflavored version but it's always sold out but it is the cheapest version. I've seen it for about like 17 bucks. But the thing about this product is, and the only negative I could find is the fact that there's only two sites that sell this product. Hopefully it can branch out. Maybe there's more, but I personally haven't found them. I've only seen them on two sites. So that's kind of a major down. But a very good go-to KC protein, especially if you haven't tried it before, if you're on a diet, and the two pound container usually lasts me a pretty long time. Well guys, that was my five best casein protein powders on the market right now. My personal favorite and what exactly is casein protein? Hopefully I answered that question. If you have any other questions about casein, uh, you can leave it in the comment section, but I'm planning a 10,000 um, subscriber video in the coming weeks. Um, hopefully sooner than that. But the 10,000 subscriber video is going to be somewhat of a Q&A, similar to what I did in my 1,000 subscriber video. So I also, I'm also going to have, I'm still working on it, I don't want to say this too soon, but I'm going to have a special announcement on that video as well. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to bench that subscribe button, to squat that like button, and get a real fitness channel on top. If you got some friends that you haven't spread this word to, you got some family, I'm you should I'm, I'm you should definitely uh, spread the word to them show them my channel show them I'm a pretty cool guy I am a cool guy so with that being said if you guys are interested in online training my email is in the description go check that out um what else what else nothing else okay once again this is Carlos Solution saying if you got a problem I'll help you solve it your wishes are done your best is yet to come